For more such videos, refer to the lookup formula series wherein we are teaching you the four essential lookup formulae that is lookup, vlookup, hlookup and xlookup. Along with the same, there are advanced combinations of the above formulas which help you tackle typical and extreme industry problems. The link for the same is there in the description. In this course, we provide you with recorded video lectures, exclusive live sessions with advanced case studies, 24-7 live assistance for queries and technical assistance. Now the technical assistance is specifically needed because we at YMC Hub have developed a special utility. Originally, the XLOOKUP is available only for Office 365 as launched by Microsoft. But we at YMC Hub have developed a specific utility using which you can use XLOOKUP on any of the Excel versions. So reach out to us at the earliest to get this installed in your system. Hey friends, welcome back. So in the last video, we learned the syntax of VLOOKUP formula and now we're going to apply the same in this data set. I hope you guys are ready. Watch it carefully. Okay, let me select cell C10 and highlight it as red. Okay, this is where we'll input the information. Okay, and now in the cell D10, which I'm highlighting as green, we'll have the output of VLOOKUP formula. Okay, so what we need right now is what we need to define. So I'll say the input as code and the output as room. Okay. Now I start with the VLOOKUP formula. I'm going to zoom in for everyone's benefit. I have VLOOKUP and the first thing that it asks me is the lookup value. Right. So lookup value will be my input, which is going to be this cell. So I've selected and it's given me C10. Then it asks me for the table or array. Right. So table or array, as we learned, the two prerequisites for applying VLOOKUP is that whatever table or array we select, the data or the lookup field should be the first field, right? The leftmost column in that table or array. In my case, code is should be the starting of that table or array. So I'll select code and I'm going to select the entire table till rent. Okay. Clear. This is the table and array and now it asks me for column index number. So column index number is the output which I want to generate from it. Okay. In my case, I want the room number to be the output. Let's identify what is the column index number for room. So in my data set, in my table array that I've selected, code is the first column. So this is column reference number one. Room is the second column. So that's column reference number two. And rent is the third column, which is column reference number three. So because I want the output of room, so it's one and two. Two is the selection for this one. And finally, we have a true, which is for approximate match and a false, which is for exact match. Right. So let's select zero, which represents false. And I'll press enter. Right. Look at this formula carefully before I press enter. I have the lookup value as C10, which is currently blank. Lookup table or array starting from C1 till E5. Column reference output is column number 2, which is room, and then 0 for an exact match. I press enter and it gives me NA because there is the output here. So let's try this out. I'll copy AN44 and I'll paste it here. Right? It gives me the room number for AN44. Is it 401? It absolutely is 401. Wow. Easy enough. Let's try for another one. PA91 gives us 501. So what VLOOKUP is doing currently is, I'm going to explain you with the formula. It goes to cell C10, identifies the value, which is PA91, then goes to column C1, which is the first column of the data set or table or array that we've selected, looks for PA91 here. As soon as it identifies PA91, it goes to the column index reference number, which we have provided to it, right? Second column in this table. The second column in this table is room. And that's the output it generates for us, which is 501. Because it's an exact match. Now, just to make it more clear, let's try taking out rent. Okay. For rent, the column index number is three, right? One, two, and three. 
So I'm going to amend the formula slightly just from changing the column index number from 2 to 3. As soon as I press enter, I get 12,000, which is the rent for PA91. I hope applying the VLOOKUP formula is clear to you. Right, I'm going to try another one. I'll try AK47 and as soon as I press enter, the output is 10,000, which is equal to the rent here. Right, now be very clear guys. We cannot apply VLOOKUP in a reverse manner. We cannot type minus 1 here right because it will be a value error the reason for this is that the tantrum which i told you in the starting that we look up only identifies values towards the right of the primary column the primary lookup field so if i want to generate the name what i need to do is i need to copy this particular data insert a column here okay and now i'll change my formula Okay, I'll change my formula. I'll look up AK47, that is fine. And my formula will change from B1 to E5. Right, now if I press 2, I can even generate names. Right, 3 will be rooms and 4 will be rent. Right, so if I just re want to regenerate the entire piece of information from above, I'll copy this entire formula because the formula is accurately put right I'll paste it here for rent I'll change this to 2 for name and finally for room I'll change this to 3 and as soon as I change this to AN44 the entire piece of information all three columns undergo a change that's how VLOOKUP works in the next video we're going to apply this VLOOKUP to a huge data set of sales all right and let's see how it progresses for us you'll have this worksheet with you also try doing it along my side see you in the next video guys bye thanks for watching this video stay connected remain exclusive remain distinguished thanks guys